How's it going, everybody? Today on the Am Radio Crash Course, we're going to explore portable windlink. Efficient, fast, portable windlink. Also, I got to take my kid to tennis practice. That's pretty cool. When you're out portable like this, You've got two options basically. You've got a TNC using packet radio, or you can use Vara FM, which is gonna require basically a sound card interface to a radio and some way to key it. Uh, I'm taking the very easy approach, and I'm gonna be using this Kenwood D74. Now, we're gonna explain some other options too, because getting one of these right now is borderline impossible, with prices for used going upwards of $800. Not really feasible. But I'm going to demonstrate that with this today, and then we'll talk about some other options, much cheaper options. I lied, this video is just about me fighting geese. I've come to Geese Manor to fight some geese. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. We'll see if that happens. We're going to record this live. No, no, don't, yeah, don't walk up to him. We're not trying to pick a fight. Ah, yes, the picnic table. All right. Do they all attack you? Not necessarily. Okay, so oh my God, in my bag. Oh, huh? there's so many. Are they fighting? All right, so to make this all work, we have a Kenwood D74. This is a Bluetooth and USB connected KISS TNC. KISS. Keep it simple, stupid TNC. Which basically just means it's passing modem like data, terminal node controller data from the radio through the RF to whatever connects to it, like my $60 laptop. That's all you need to make this work. Because it's Bluetooth, I'm using the power of Bluetooth to connect to the $65, $60 laptop. I appreciate the price has gone through the roof on these. You can still get them on Amazon for like 100 bucks. So that may be the best way to go. All right, I'll turn our radio on here. I don't, yeah, it's not on this anymore, but uh, to get this into TNC mode, you hit the F button, list, it says APRS 12, F button again, list, KISS 12. We're at 1200 baud when it displays 12. All right, sorry for the brightness. $60 laptops, not that bright. That's about as high as it goes. So we're gonna run WinLink, and we're gonna start a packet session, WinLink packet. We're doing this real time. You're seeing me do this all in one shot. We're gonna do channel selection. Likely this guy is his closest one to me. He's 15 kilometers, so we're gonna go enter, 144. 970. Stock antenna. We may have to change the antenna, but let's give it a shot. And we should see this. Give it a go here. Connected Bluetooth. Transmit. Ah, no connection. We're going to need to get that antenna out. All right, so from our education in antenna testing, we know that if you use a long ranger, you will be able to propagate the signals. Let's try it. I'm gonna keep a hand on this though, because the wind can blow it over. Oh no, we're not making contact. Great. Great. What a bummer. What's the next channel that's next closest to us? Uh, W6HBR145090. So we're going to go 145090. 18 kilometers. Here we go. Oh my god. Oof. Now well, we hear activity. All right, so we've got s somebody's listening. One four five zero nine zero. What's the over under that these lights that are buzzing is creating mad interference for me? I wonder. Come on, Edison, let's take a walk. Now, while my setup is very convenient and easy to run, 
if you can't make a connection to your Winlink packet station, then it could be difficult. Well, we walked in the next location to try to get away from what could be interference. I'll mention the other way that you can connect, which is Vara FM. You can do Vara FM with a simple Baofeng and a wired connection to your PC using something like a Digilink. We talked about this uh, a couple of months ago. Actually did some Vara FM. And you could totally run that with your uh, $60 laptop and it'll work uh, just fine. I'm hearing more signals as we're getting away from that interference, so maybe a good sign. Maybe my radio just couldn't hear. It was deafened. I'm a little worried about all this metal though, so that could be a problem. But we'll try. Yeah. What the hell? Why? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go find one. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna pee in your pants? It's not connected! We're gonna go to it right now. One of the advantages of the setup is uh, you can pack up and leave at a moment's notice. Good for mobile comms. So the good thing about this setup is, even if you don't make this work with your portable antenna on the radio, you can always just plug into your home antenna, uh, get a bit more range out of it, and that's what we'll probably end up having to do here. What stuff is free? No, it is not. There's definitely no free Gatorade. <clears throat> no, it is not. Where do you come up with these lies? It's definitely free. No, it is not. Yes. Watch out. Yes. Watch out, please. <laughs> Such quality. It's as high as up as you can. Alright, don't move. Oh, was that you? No. Did you do that? No. <laughs> no. Hold it up. No. Not making it. Is it? No. Not making it. Well, we're going to have to take it home, Edison. Let's see if he's gonna try and go for it. Nope. And they call it A No, they don't call it any words like that. Alright, let's get this uh, radio home here and see what we can do to actually make this Windlink connection work. That can go wrong. I'm guessing clo getting closer to that 18 mile, 18 kilometer away station is probably doing the trick. All right, this should be an easy mystery to solve. Uh, we got our D74. Break out our Jane Potamus. I'm guessing it was just range proximity to the to the station. So let's plug this guy into an antenna, any antenna. Okay, took us a second here. 
I suspect I might have bad uh, coax jumper. But we got a connection now. We should be connecting to the gateway. So this coax jumper, I removed it. Particularly this barrel connection here. Works fine. Or works in. Work in. Alright, so there's two schools of thoughts as we already mentioned. You use a radio that has an inbuilt TNC like this, keep it simple, stupid TNC, which is just a simple modem type device that connects to the computer via USB or Bluetooth, as this one does. Um, they're nice, but this is limited to packet then. You're pretty much only going to do packet. Uh, Vara FM is a thing that's becoming more and more popular as time goes on. Vara FM is very, very fast, but it requires an audio interface in and out of your radio, obviously. Uh, those audio interfaces generally will allow keying the PTT button, and then the only thing you'll have to do is set the frequency, like on your Baofeng or whatever, to send. If you'd like to see a video on that, I did a video on the DigiRig and the Baofeng connection, and it works really well. Now, as you noticed, uh, there was some struggles there. Oddly enough, I've used this radio now a couple of times to check into WinLink, both with the uh, extendable whip antenna that you saw, that MFJ Long Ranger, and my home vertical antenna, not nearly having as many issues as I did today. So maybe those stations are having problems. I don't know. But that's a thing to consider, too, because there are uh, relatively tight ranges that these handhelds are going to be effective in. If you want, like, no joke, good packet radio effectivity for use with a TNC for Winlink or something along those lines, consider something like an Alinko DR135. They are relatively inexpensive. You can get a packet, uh, you can get a TNC for them that will work just spot on every time. Cantronics makes one of them. And then you'll get 50 watts, actually more than 50 watts output on two meters, which will generally take care of everything you want to do close in for packet. I've talked about it in the past, the MobiLink device. These are pretty much unobtainium now. They're extremely difficult. These are the kind of devices that is a Bluetooth TNC. It uses the audio connection into your radio like a so. And then it just, I Velcroed on the back of Baofangs and other radios. <clears throat> this is in itself a replacement TNC for a dumb radio like a Baofang, not like one of these. Very difficult to get over $100 for this capability and, um, and requires you to keep the battery topped off. And this button uh, is really easy to bump. And once you bump that button, it's really easy to leave this thing on, which you can see here, this has been now depleted. But USB micro is on the side here. Not really the best uh, solution anymore these days, but they work okay. Good luck finding them though. The best option is going to be the DigiRig, which you can get at Gigaparts. Link will be in the description to check that out. And uh, just use your Baofeng. Basically, same connector, same wire here is going to go to your Baofeng, same connector, Kenwood connector, and into the DigiRig. That will allow you to do all kinds of fun stuff, not just um, do data, write audio over your DigiRig, but you can also do serial data, which would allow you to program your radio. Yeah, that's a capability. So I'll post links to all those things. I <laughs> hope you had fun with this funky video. Did not uh, go as expected, but hey, that's oftentimes how it works. If you'd like to see HF WinLink and my setup for HF WinLink, I'll post videos. It's probably already referencing you. Go take a look at that. HF WinLink is where you get the much longer distance WinLink contacts, but sometimes it's fun to just do it with packet via your handheld. Anyway, I'm Josh KI6NAZ. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. See ya.